Hey guys, this is going to be a video on how to create your basic state-based game. I think this is really important. Um, I can't even imagine trying to make a game without some kind of state system. It just makes everything that much more organized and easier to code. So let's get started. I have two classes right now, game.java, which is just the window, and game panel.java, which is basically just the game loop. I've created a graph to help um, visualize what this thing should look like. So I have game and game panel right now, and we will be creating a game state manager class and a couple uh, game states. We'll just be making these two, menu state and play state. Um, so here, the point is that we're sort of passing down functions down this hierarchy. Whenever a game panel calls update, it's going to call game state manager's update. And game state manager will call the update function of whichever state is currently active. And that's pretty much how it works. So I'm going to do this starting from the top with game panel. We're going to fill out these update, draw, key press, and key release functions. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to have these two classes down in the description. So if you're following along, get those. And here, um, let's start by creating a new game state manager. Call it GSM. And I have this function called init, which just initializes. This is where I just create new instances of everything. New game state manager. Cool. And now we need to handle the four functions. Remember, these four functions, all they do is just get passed down to game state manager. So in update, it's just simple gsm.update draw is also equally simple and instead we're going to pass in the graphics object and uh, same thing with key press and key release I'm not going to use key typed I really never figured out what this is for I mean key press and key release pretty much do everything I guess so again simple gsm.key pressed but here, instead of passing the key event itself, we're going to be passing the integer value of the key that was pressed. Key k dot get key code. And here, gsm dot key released k dot get key code. And that's pretty much it. We've filled out these four functions, and all they do is just call the game state manager's four functions. So let's go ahead and create a new game state manager class. Here, game state manager again is going to have a list of game states. So I'm going to use an array list. I know some implementations use a stack, so you can easily just push and pop in order to go back like certain states or whatever. I find that the array list is. Uh, more flexible because um, you're not bothered with having to pop all the way back to some state. You can just jump to whichever state that you want immediately. So for this we are going to have to keep track of which state that we're currently on. Private int current state. The current state is going to be the index of the array list. So if current state is 0, then the current state is going to be the first state in the list. If it's 1, it's a second, and so on. So the constructor is just going to add all of the game states onto the list. First, let's create the list. New or list of game states. Like that. And... Um, we're going to be creating two game states. So we're going to add a new menu state and a new 
play state. We're not actually going to be filling those two states out. Um, we're just going to do the bare minimum for this tutorial. So we have now two states. Notice that the order that we've added them, we've added the menu state first, then the play state. So you just have to make sure to keep track of which ones you're adding, the order that you're adding them in. So we're going to create a sort of enum type situation going here. These are going to be public static, so everyone can use them. Here we're going to set the current state to menu state, which is zero, which is the first one in the list. So that's how that's going to work. Back in the graph here, we see that game state manager again has the four functions that it needs to pass down to whichever state is active. So we're going to do that now. Public void update and public void draw which uh, takes the graphics 2D object and key pressed oh wow I can't type which takes an int and key released so it's very simple in order to pass along the function if we want to update if let's say menu state was active and we wanted to pass along the update here then it's simple we just do game states dot get and then the current state and then update and that's all it takes here we're gonna call the draw G and then here we're gonna do key pressed K and key released K so game state manager is like a mediator all he does is just pass along the functions now the game state manager also has to be able to switch between states so we're going to create a function called set current state with an integer argument and all we're gonna do is set the state to that uh, int simple so now we are going to have to create the game state class here new class um, called game state this is going to be abstract this is a super class we are not going to actually be creating instances of game state itself we are going to extend off of it menu state, play state, and use those classes instead. So now we need every what every game state has in common. Every game state needs a reference to the game state manager and it also needs to implement the four functions. These are going to be abstract. Update public abstract void draw Um, key pressed, abstract, and key released. So that's our game state super class. Let's go ahead and create the two classes that we're using menu state and play state. So let's create a new menu state class and a new play state class. So let's start with menu state. This has to extend game state. Remember, all of our subclass states have to extend the superclass game state. So public menu state, that's just a constructor which takes the game state manager uh, argument. So this.gsm is equal to gsm. And we need the to override the four functions public void update oh let me just import java dot uh. so update draw uh, key pressed 
and key released. Simple. And play state is pretty much going to be the same thing. Extends game state. The constructor takes uh, a reference to the game state manager. And we have to override the four functions. I'm just going to copy and paste public these four functions just like that. Now we have to find a way to differentiate between these. So what we're going to do is go into draw and we're just going to draw. Um, first let's clear the screen, set the color to white, and then fill uh, 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 game panel dot width game panel dot height and black and we're gonna draw a string that says menu state At position 100 100 and for a play state we're gonna do the same exact thing except we're gonna draw a string play state just so we can differentiate so that's pretty much it So let's see what we have here. Oh right, the constructors back in Game State Manager, they need a reference to this. So that's pretty much that. Now let's go over to menu state. We need to do one more thing. Um, we need a way to switch to the play state. So here in key pressed, if let's say we pressed um, enter, then oops. We don't have, we need to import key event. Import java.art.event, everything, might as well. Um, if k is equal to key event uh, vk enter, then that means we've pressed the enter button and enter key, and we want to switch. And this is why we have a reference to the game state manager. We're going to call current stat. I spelled it wrong. Set current state here and the argument is an integer. We're going to use game state managers uh, list of states here. We're going to set play state like that. So if we're in the menu state and we press enter we're going to set the current state to play state. And in play state we're going to do <laughs> the other thing, pretty much the same thing, but backwards. Here, if we press enter while we are in play state, then we're going to set the current state back to menu state. So it's like a back and forth thing. So let's run this and see what happens. So right now we're in menu state. If I press enter, it switches to play state. If I press enter again, and it just switches back and forth. And that is pretty much it for uh, creating a game state based game and how to manage them. This is probably the simplest possible uh, way to implement this game state manager and it is very very useful in organizing your games. Um, for example in some of the games that I've done I usually have a state <laughs> for everything. Uh, the title screen, the intro screen, um, the main menu screen, <laughs> like the loading continue screens, all of that. I just put everything into the state and I just let the game state manager handle all of that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the best way to organize your game, I think. And um, Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.